Okay, so Paint and Play fans. Um, so basically, I'm gonna go over my very first paint. All right, and these, I'll show you the other one in a second, are the models that those go to. They are Reapers miniature series. This one's called Dragons Don't Share, and it's basically a dragon on a broken down tower um, guarding a pile of gold. And then this one's called World Breaker. I guess it's like a greater demon or something like that. Pretty excited to paint this one. Although some of the art for it is ridiculous, so we'll see how well I can do. But that's him. I thought I'd just kind of guide you guys through my journey and what I'm going to do. So um, right now the glue is setting on these guys. I'm going to have to get some more glue and some epoxy and uh, kind of go back over them uh, again with some epoxy and shave that down and then make sure it's smooth and then go ahead and base coat them because um, Reaper's lines show mold lines show up really really bad so they they're honestly like giant rubber toys so uh some of their lines really stick out so i'm gonna have to fill them send them down and then base coat them so but for now the uh the uh glue has got to sit that's the most important part so i'll probably end up basing these tomorrow all right, you clowns. Um, so here we are back. Uh, I've actually made a decent amount of progress. Sorry I didn't show you guys earlier. So uh, basically you guys saw how I had base coated everything black. Um, those guys are still sitting over there. I haven't gotten to them yet, but I will eventually. But uh, as you can see, I've made some progress here. Um, basically I did, as you can see, there's a darker coat underneath that light coat there. Um, it was a it was a pewter gray and a black and uh, basically I did a two beer pewter gray to one black um, and did that over the whole thing just gave it a light dry brush over all the stone on all of them and I let that dry overnight um, and then went ahead and did a just pewter gray dry brush over the entirety of all these so this this and this has all been accomplished today so honestly this is going to be a pretty fast project we're hoping to have it done by the end of the week as you can see there i left the gold areas uh black because i'm going to give those a dry brushing of white before i go over them with gold so that they have a brighter shine they are more of a highlight of the project um and then i also just had like a uh umber brown that i did a it's pretty much like a four to one uh umber brown with a khaki so four umber brown drops to one khaki color drop um i'll have to go back and go over like those big hunk of stone like right there right at that corner edge um kind of focusing in on it um that i'll have to go back over with like some gray um just to give it a little bit more life so break it up a little bit more so this is pretty much what i've gotten done so far hope you guys are enjoying the project as we go along and uh i will keep you updated as we go all right guys so next um on working with these guys uh, as you can kind of see, it's not super noticeable, but those little cracks that are there, they just kind of stand out just enough um, that I couldn't really fill. They just kind of make the model look toyish. You know, it looks like it's been put together. Um, it doesn't look like a figurine. So basically what I'm going to do is I wish I had something other than this. But, um... I have this stuff called water weld, and it's just an epoxy um, that you can buy at any store. It's the same stuff that I use to make my Death Corpse of Krieg robes. So I'm wondering if I can roll it out small enough in small enough strips, if I can stuff it down in these cracks and kind of get it flattened out and then mush it along the edges to kind of get it flat. And then hopefully once I spray paint everything, it'll kind of cover up any of the 
blatantly obvious that it's there, so we'll see. So with my first little, little attempt here, it's not horrible. Um, with this epoxy, you have to remember to keep it wet, kind of keep it sitting in water. I got the water-based one, the water weld. Um, obviously, you have to flatten this out, and it does have my thumbprint in there, so you'll have to... We'll have to mess with it a little bit as we go, but we'll get it. Um, but I use the water one because you can leave it sitting in water and it'll stay moist and won't dry out as quickly. So now, what you guys are seeing up close, it's kind of ugly. You know, you can see the fingerprints and stuff in it, but you can no longer see the crack. And then whenever you back away, this is in light. In all actuality, you really can't tell that much that there's that's there anymore so you fill in the cracks you make your model look better like this one this one could probably stay because it's mm, there's a one a really detailed area and then two uh, that crack is small enough it can probably stay there but yeah that right there the whole big crack that was there I mean you really want you back it away unless you're really getting in there and looking hard can't tell that it's there so hopefully the spray paint will hide the truth and just to show you guys how big I'm oh, pardon my finger there um, how big of a piece that I'm using for this it's really nothing at all it's about the width of a string quick so. tip with epoxy um, whenever you have it like I said just sitting in the water there uh, keep your fingers wet otherwise it will stick to your fingers and it kind of does rub off but here's that shoulder crack that I just fixed, kind of. I'm still pressing it in, and I'll get to working my way around the edges and stuff. But, I mean, from a distance, you really can't tell. And just one more comparison of how that epoxy can help. You see the side, how it's just got this big, nasty crack in it. And this side, it is flush. Like, it's almost as if it, the wing was never detached. Let's see how clean and clear that is. From this side, it's like a big, nasty gap this side clean and clear so like I said it's not perfect but once it's painted over it'll look guys nice. um so since I saw you uh I pretty much have base coated the models now that the epoxy has dried and I also started on the highlights for the stonework for the uh, dragons don't share parts and stuff so I'll show you those in just well, a second here's the base coated dragon not too bad. Um, as you can see, you can't even really tell the epoxy is there. So, and then, and I'm hoping that epoxy also kind of helped hold the model in shape. And then here's the world breaker. So, still trying to figure out how I'm gonna paint this guy up. Um, the dragon, though, Zach said he wants it black. So I don't know if I'm gonna do paint on the wings to give it like a thin membrane type thing but I know I'm either gonna go with like a bright yellow or like an orange for the eyes um, the teeth I'll uh, probably do white and then give them a quick shade obviously a pinkish red tongue inside of the mouth um, the scales I'll probably do a tiny like light gray highlight here are the highlighted rock stone pieces so far. Um, I haven't touched the dirt by any means, but here's what they pretty much look like. Um, and I'll put some before and after shots here in a second. Pretty much all I've done is um, give everything a highlight, as you can see. Everything is highlighted, sorry about the shadows. And the mud, as you can see, it's very wet still. Uh, I've got uh, like a two black to one brown wash. So that's it so far for today. Basically, the only other thing that happened is I gave all the mud a dry brushing 
uh, after it was washed of a uh, lighter brown. And then I did all the gold, the shield, the barrel. There's a sword back there that I did silver with a rust uh, technical paint. And then the gold back here, a little scepter with a diamond, or a ruby, I'm sorry. And then I highlighted all the parts that I'm going to put through some color on uh, a little later. So keep on working all right guys this is pretty much the dragon uh finished i'm not gonna lie i don't know if i'm gonna do a whole lot else on this guy so uh pretty much the only thing you guys have missed is i've is really is i painted these horns and his claws down here and the tip of his tail and wings um there's a citadel shade called kesla flesh and uh i did that and then after that, I just did a sepia wash over that to get that. I need to clean up some of these little tips here where they've just, the paint's rubbed off. Um, I did that to the teeth as well. Um, and then the mouth is painted red, obviously. And then I did a, like just a lighter highlight on the tongue. Um, I did not wash those teeth though, because I wanted them to be a little bit brighter than uh, the claws and stuff. Um, obviously you have your treasure, your barrel, your little silver pot. There's a sword back there. Um, it didn't turn out quite like I wanted it. The sword didn't turn out like I wanted it to, but it's close. Um, and then I just did an overall dark gray dry brush of all the scales. Um, And that kind of helped even them out. And honestly, I might just leave them as is. I'm relatively happy with how he's looking. So that's just me, though. Hey, guys. Uh, pretty much I started with the old breaker already. I've already done one layer on him. Um, pretty much I primed him black, obviously. And then you can see on the skin here, come on now, how there's like this gray in here um, over the black. That is a pewter gray and just a regular black. And it's like a, it's probably three or four, it's probably like a four pewter gray to a one uh, black. So just give it a little bit more darkness so I can build up on it more. And then I already started with just regular pewter gray over here, up the arm, on the shoulder, down the spines. Um, but I'm doing like a super, super light dry brush into that so it only catches the very edges and stuff like that. Just to brighten them up a little bit more, bring out those darker cracks. So that's how I'm doing this so far. So um, I'm going to update you guys on what I'm doing next. As far as how this goes. Alright you guys, you know, just the usual dry brush the hell out of everything that exists. Um, one more final layer to bring out those plates, just the edges. Around the neck, the shoulders. Um, you can see the difference between this plate here and these back plates. So I'll go over everything. Um, it's just like a... There's this granite gray. So that's what I'm using, just super, super, super light dry brushing. And then I'll probably give this skin a wash, but we'll see. All right, to get you up to speed, I use Citadel's Rathcarth Flesh for all the these little bits right here. And this is what color it is before you wash it, and that's what it looks like after you wash it. It has a more brownish color. Um, the inside of his mouth and his eyes are Citadel's corn red. And then I'm going to do an Evil Sun Scarlet as a dry brush highlight. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it so far. So that's what I've been doing. Dry brushing and all kinds of good stuff. So we're almost done here. Thank God. And for those eyeballs there, I did... Uh, Citadel's Red Corn, Evil Scarlet Suns, 
and a wall divider of red. I wish I would have just done these two, but whatever. Give me a little more orange than I wanted, but no big deal. And then those teeth all dull down just a tad so they're not so white with a tiny bit of wash after they're dry. And that's honestly pretty much it. I just gotta put a little deal, a little bitty spot for the pupil, and I'll pretty much be done. All right, now that I'm about to tear my freaking eyes out, we're done. One thing is there's a balance issue with this guy, so I gotta figure that out maybe. Hopefully. I guess we'll see. So final look at these two.